Ladies and gentlemen, this next fight of the evening is in the Bantamweight division. Introducing first, standing in the blue corner with three wins and no losses. Fighting out of one fight team, Las Vegas, Nevada. Marco Lopez! Standing across the cage in the red corner with two wins and four losses. Fighting out of McCoy MMA, Las Vegas, Nevada. Regis Spicer! Referee in charge is Mike Belcher. All right, gentlemen, been over the rules already. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Touch gloves now if you want. At the sound of the bell, come on out and handle your business. Let's go, guys. We almost didn't touch gloves there. I don't know if you guys noticed. <laughs> Regis Spicer, white and black trunks in the red corner. Marco Lopez, mostly white trunks. A little bit of gold trim there. They do touch gloves. And they exchange a couple jabs, a couple kicks. Lopez gets the best of that, winding up in top position. But uh, Spicer gets back to his feet quickly now that he's exchanged some knees against the cage. Both guys grappling there against the cage. Reason Spicer kind of looks like Brandon Forrest a little bit, don't he? He does. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Doing a good job of fighting off this takedown. Yeah, great job fighting off the takedown. Would he be better served, though, Mo, to get that underhook rather than worry about... Well, I'm sorry. I thought he was trying to grab a hold of that neck. Well, he needs to push the head down with his, with his right hand, push his head down. Well, now he's just got to go too deep. You got to push the head down and square up. Lopez does get the takedown, winds up inside control. Spicer... Looking to make a move there. Lopez has that arm trap. Not anymore. Spicer gets up quickly. Lopez wanted to go for the neck, gave it up. Now they're back against the cage. And you see, if it's for someone that has a 2 and 4 record, the record's being little, especially this because like, these guys are building. But he's pretty solid. You know, um, Spicer's pretty solid. He's making him, ma making him fight for everything, making, um, making Lopez fight for everything he's getting, you know? Right. Making him expend some energy. Yeah. Good, Mark. Good. Nevertheless, he does wind up on the bottom, and there's 24 seconds left. If this fight should go the distance, you do need to win these rounds, and right now Lopez is winning the round. But I'll tell you what, it's opposition. It's not. Yeah. It's opposition. Um, He's not getting beat yet. up. Yeah. Okay. He's just getting out technique there a little bit. Lopez relentless. And the action stops. You know, when you score those takedowns, you also got to remember the manner in which the guy is taken down. And, and some of those, those aren't fun, man. You go up for a ride like that, that hurts. That's a painful ride. <laughs> That's like a crash. <laughs> so what do you tell Spicer, King Mo? How can he avoid these? Does he have the, the speed in his feet to use some lateral movement and, and, and just like get in that position? Because he's getting clinched up. Everywhere he's going, he's getting clinched up. Yeah, shoot the jab. Bend your legs, shoot the jab in the chest, chin area. No kicks because when he threw the kicks last time, the guy got him in trouble. I just say, throw your hands and look and look to get the underhook or look to um, stuff the head when he gets in the leg. Take down. Jab, uppercut. Jab, uppercut. No. Jab, jab, jab. Faint. Left hook, uppercut. But uh, Lopez ain't making it easy. Lopez is relentless. You know, these guys, these guys are fighting hard. Yeah, they sure are. This card's a lot more intense than the last card as far as, like, pace. Yeah. A lot of speed inside of the cage here at Tough Enough Fighting Championships. Future stars of MMA. Nice kick by Lopez. And now they get clinched up again. See, I think the Spicer does not make it easy for him, that's for sure. Spicer just gets to under. He cannot give up. Over. Yep, there under you go. right there. Good. Yeah. That's what I was saying in the first round, and, and there's one of them. And that's actually, if, if, it's certainly better if he did both hands under hooks, double under hooks. So he needs to now, bend his leg. He's too high. He needs to bend his legs and try to change his level because this guy's shooting on him. And another thing, Mo, there's some missed opportunities there when they did create some distance. You'd think Spicer would want to get off, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, make him pay. And there's Lopez, relentless, with trying to get this fight to the ground. Now, Lopez, he wants to finish his takedown. He's going to run the pipe. Bring his hips in, run the pipe. 
That means you'll step to his left and bring and rotate his yes. right leg back. Spicer in the meantime. Yeah. I was just about to say fighting off Ooh, take, take down a tank, but well, he he just went for a ride. Strong you gotta position. be careful when you're up in the air like that too. Remember what happened to uh Shogun Hua when when uh yeah, Coleman hit yeah, the post and yeah, he broke his arm. Mark Coleman got that win over him. Shogun avenged it a few years later, but that one stung Shogun at the time. Lopez now takes the back. Spicer has to be frustrated at this point. He's been flattened out. Lopez very comfortable. Lopez looks like he's getting under that neck. Spicer's fighting it off. No, he decides to tap. The fight's over. Good fight, though. Yeah. Good fight. Spicer can keep his head up. You know, he went out there and fight hard. Yeah, he sure did. Lopez is tough. Yeah. He's 3 0 for a reason. You can see the look of frustration on Spicer's face. He knows the mistakes he made, but I think he looks like the type of kid, the type of athlete that'll come back and crack those. And, and you know what the funny thing is? Right, it's not funny that you guys are losing, but the losses I've seen these guys take, it might not be, it's more like a game plan or they're the wrong camp. These camps aren't bad for these kids, but sometimes you gotta find the right fit for you. And I feel like Spicer, because that athlete, if you can find the right fit for him, he can turn this uh, losing streak around and, and get some wins. Now, what a weapon at his disposal, or Lopez's disposal, to be able to do that to people. You can tell he's disappointed, but look at his face. He wishes he could start this over and run it back, you know what I mean? Because you see, and you listen to Lopez's corner, yelling instructions, they had him, hey, single leg, get strong with it, fall to position, take it back. They're, everything he was yelling, they, they fit. I, I can't hear what Spicer's corner was yelling, but maybe sometimes you know, you have to find the right fit for you. Congratulations going around between both camps. And we see Justin Bernard climbing into the cage. He's seconds away from giving us an official announcement. And guess what, guys? We're all ears. Ladies and gentlemen, after a minute 35 into the second round, your winner by tap out due to rear naked choke, the blue corner, Marco Lopez. Marco Lopez receives his winning medal. He goes to 4-0. Regis Spicer, also receiving a medal, goes to 2-5.